Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in to my newsletter. I want to wish you blessings on the beginning of winter season, which officially began on November 7th. That was the midway point between autumn equinox and the winter solstice. And so in five weeks, the light is going to shift again to getting brighter. So we have five weeks of our descent down into the yin, most magnificent yin winter time. And then we have six weeks on the emergence when it will come out for the beginning of spring on the lunar new year of the dragon. So we have three more months of the yin water rabbit. So during this time, the council is to find as many opportunities to be quiet and still to surround yourself with your close inner circle as you contemplate or um, dive into the stillness of winter. It's an excellent time for soups and nourishment and sweet connections and deepening meditation practice. There's so much support right now for meditation in the environment so much of the plants and here at the botanical gardens are going underneath to fortify their root system for the winter time and this we can take a clue from from nature and from her capacity for taking time to retreat and be still it's a really powerful time for dreaming by the time we get to winter solstice the most potent time of the 24 hour cycle is at midnight. And right now in this chi node of winter begins, it's at 9 p.m. So as the chi is most potent from 9 p.m., you know, and, and then in the next chi node, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., these are all two week periods. Getting out your dream journal and having some time to uh, reflect on dreaming and let the powerful, nighttime capacity for transformation and healing be accentuated. So having a dream journal by your bed so you can start to dive deeper into that practice and taking the time to perhaps also, if you, if you don't have an evening meditation practice, sitting and doing your pranayama or your breathing practice in the, in the nighttime. It's also a very beneficial time to get a lot of sleep because of the potency of the chi during the nighttime and that sleep has special powers, special potentiality for, for nourishing the yin. So the winter time has the capacity to nourish the yin in a way that no other time of year does because it is a yin time. There's yin available in the environment. So we can tap into this yin through breathing practices, through sleep, through dreams, and through meditation. So if you don't have a strong meditation practice, um, this is a really great time to pick one up because it's much easier to meditate in the winter because of the stillness of the environmental chi. So you could expect, you know, if you've had trouble meditating in the past, try it now. It's a, it's a fantastic time to deepen or initiate a meditation and stillness practice. Uh, you can start with just either following the breath, you can count your breath, you can just be still and notice what happens. You can do mantra practice, you can do pranayama or breath work, whatever you already have on hand or you know, there's a thousand ways to sit and be still and absorb the yin. I have a Reiki training beginning in the spring on the new year of the dragon and there are still spots available on that. I'd love to have you join. You can check out the um, application process at the link here in the newsletter. And I'd also like to invite you to join me for a call every Friday. So in the West, we think of us as having four seasons, but in Tang Dynasty Chinese tradition, there's actually 24 seasons, and the seasons shift every two weeks, and there's different conduct and counsel available for how to conduct oneself in the way most conducive to health and most conducive to 
nourishing our destiny to more fully become the person that we came here to be through listening and attuning to the suggestions put out by nature. So you're invited to join me on that call. The first two weeks are free and you will get a lot of videos as well from past calls and you can just check it out. We're gonna be moving into the next Chi Node soon and it's a really special way to calibrate with the seasons and to bring in life affirming and uh, health affirming practices in a low, low stress way. They're easy changes. It's like, oh right, I'll dry brush for this chi node and I'll eat more soups in this chi node. And we go into a lot of lifestyle and dietary ways to help the body stay healthy. That shifts every two weeks. And there's not a lot of people uh, handing off this medicine that I got from Luming, this particular way of honoring the cycles in this um, ancient tradition. This is coming from 600 AD China during the Tang Dynasty and from the Tong Shu, which has a, an almanac saying when to do what. So I really invite you to check that out. It's a phenomenal community of people. It's a very small group and we're on a deep dive to help to ground the light and live in harmony and make better choices about our lives. Thank you for, for listening and making it all the way through. I'm so blessed to have you as part of my community. And blessings on a deep winter, on a restful time.